with BHF week 54, day 107. As far as the week's concerned, 107 and 108 BHF should be staying tomorrow. An away trip with Scan Weather permitting to visit Frickley. Back down this end Friday for the Enterprise Work Programme appointment 2. And Saturday, another away trip with Scan Visit Grantham. Weather permitting, of course. Day 1 complete. Weather's just as bad as it was this morning. Bit of rain, bit of wind. Day 2 back down here tomorrow morning. Day 2, dry weather than yesterday, no rain. Hopefully Judy's a two-parter. We've got BHF week 54, day 108. And weather permitting, a trip to Frickley tonight. BHF week 54, day 108 complete. And sadly, so is day 2 of this week. It's like Saturday, where it was nice. Weather-wise, for the majority of the day, the game was called off. Same today, and the away trip to Frickley cancelled due to a waterlogged pitch. So at the moment, there's two chances for Skem to play left in November. Saturday against Grantham, which I've been informed has only had three called-off games in 20 years, so that should be on the card for this week. I know Frickley at home next week, but disappointing to end Tuesday with just a single part. So Friday morning, nice sunny. Day. People plus appointment with work plus enterprise. Enterprise appointment complete. Some good ideas discussed. Potential for being self employed in the future, building some steam. In terms of out and about, fingers crossed that tomorrow will be the first scam edition of the week with an away trip down to Grantham. So I'm about to start early on this Saturday morning with a trip down to Grantham Town. The game has been confirmed as on. It's a good job it's an away trip because if we were playing here this afternoon it probably would have been called off. Look at the frost on that bitch. Well, nice to be back on Saturday afternoon duty out and about resumes here at Grantham Town FC. It's what I think it is known as you can see over there in the distance. The South Kestevan District Council welcomes you to the South Kestevan Stadium. Bit of an unusual stadium compared to most football grounds. I mean, as you can see from that far end, and you can see in the end I'm stood at the moment, there's only two actual stands. We've got the main stand over there, with what I've been told is a cantilever design, and that's something that I'm familiar with. And obviously there's addition of the athletics track. Dugouts over there, which we'll focus on in a minute. In terms of weather, it's not too bad to be honest. Cold is, is coming in a bit. No wind at present, and obviously it's nice and dry. So, more news <coughs> as we reach the other side of the stadium. So, on the opposite side of the stadium here, which has got the dugouts, it's a bit of a strange one to be honest, because obviously, if the tunnel is over there, you would expect the dugout and the tunnel to be on the same side of the pitch. In this case, it's a little different. You've got the terrace here. Massive terrace, to be honest, <laughs> considering, like I say, it's an MPL side. So, lap of the stadium needs completion. It's back over by the main stand here. I can see why Grantham said last week they've only had three games called off in about 20 odd years, because if it does rain, there's a lot of open space for it to dry in. This afternoon's programme, a reasonable price of £2, a very nice design as well. So it's had a quick walk up to the upper stand. Wow, this is a lovely view. Shame you can't film from up here, a sign for no standing. Tell you what though, lovely view that though. Kick off about 3 o'clock this afternoon. A little further down, see a bit more of the countryside. Skem team just coming out to warm up now. Team news for this afternoon for Skem, Feeding, Jeffries, Old, Smith, Mooney, Grove and Almond, Strickland, Hazel Dean, White, Moore, Ince, Low, Foy, Riley and Hopkinson. For Granton, Preston, Wild and Story, Bachelor, Galinsky, Meadows, Clifton, Lewis, Bartolos. The two shores up front, Lee and Luke, Andy Wright, Mike Hollingsworth, Jeremiah Dasalo and Sam Persico. So, half time here at the Bears, Grantham Town no, Scams United no. So, full time here at Grantham, Grantham Town 1, Scams United 1. Scam took the lead through Chad White before being pulled back. Very tasty second half, yellow cards all over the place, really. 
surprising that there was only one minute added on at the end. But it's a welcome point for the Blues, still yet to win away, but four away draws this season. 20 to 9, we're back at Skem. That's out and about complete for the week. For a change, not a downer, like I say, a draw was a pretty decent result to be honest.